morning. How do you feel today? Pretty good? I'm feeling pretty great. And I'm also feeling a little bit nervous and kind of scared because I am going to talk to you about something that I've been keeping from most people for a really long time. So I'm going to be kind of vulnerable and that's scary, but it's also exciting. Um, so the thing that I wanted to bring up, which is hard to talk about even right now, I'm getting, I'm acting like I don't want to say it. Um, but the reason I am saying it is because I believe that it'll be something that you can resonate with too. And it's probably something you don't talk about either. So for me, I, I doubt myself all the time. And I have a lot of days when I don't know what, what in the world I'm doing, you know? And I get scared. I, get, I fear not having enough money, not being able to take care of myself. I fear that I'm uh, 27 years old and am not where other 27 year olds are in their lives. And when I bring up these thoughts, you know, immediately it's just a scary place to be. But when you really stop and think about it for a long time, that's when you realize that it's not really true. Like we tell ourselves all these lies and all these stories and we believe them like so wholeheartedly that we act based off of those beliefs. So, like, for me, if I would, were to give you an example, like, having the fear of not having enough money, um, I actually do have enough money, you know? I can support myself, and I can afford to pay my bills and my apartment and buy myself food. It might not be as much as I would like for the freedom to buy all those things without having to calculate, you know, will I have enough? But because I act out of a lack of not having enough of those things, then I live out of that place and I operate out of there. And of course I'm not going to get the financial abundance that I want if I'm living from a place of lack and resistance. I'm resisting what naturally just wants to happen because there's plenty of abundance in the world. So that's a quick example for you, but the real point of this video is to just kind of expose these fears because I know that you feel the same way at times. And I know you have things that scare you and you don't want to say out loud. And really, I've we all have previous conditioning that just the way we've grown up or um, experiences that have happened to us in our lives, we react certain ways to certain things. So for some people, um, certain things are stronger than others. Um, but for me, um, I've built up a way of pretending like I'm fine all the time. And I'm sure some of you can relate to that. Um, you know, putting on a happy face and always just being, um, positive in front of people. But then, you know, when you get around the people that you're really, really close to, you kind of get negative and that, that isn't good for anybody. So what I'm encouraging you to do and what I'm encouraging myself to do right now is to be vulnerable and not try and be super brave. You know, if you're scared to talk about it and not put on a front because by putting on a front that everything's fine, then later on it comes out and it just like blows up in your face um, or you freak out about something that doesn't even matter and it's because you've been suppressing this feeling of just being afraid to share with people that you're scared. The other day, um, for the first time ever, I, uh, I had a conversation with Josh and I had admitted to him that I'm scared you know? And it was really, really hard to do. Because even with him, the person that I'm so close with and knows me so well, I'm still afraid to show him that I'm, I'm scared and that I don't have it all together. And when I said that to him, it was like the biggest relief of my life. 
like all kinds of doors started opening up to me after I did that and my relationship with him got closer because I could be myself and a lot of times I try and figure out why I'm not fully being myself all the time and it's because the times when I'm not myself is when I my mind is so cluttered with trying to be somebody that I'm not so you know how could I just be my free-flowing funny goofy like love in life self when my mind just has all these things in the front of it saying like guard don't say this don't let anyone see what's going on don't let anyone see you're scared you know like if you got your guard up you can't be you and the reason yeah I said this already but the reason I'm sharing it is because I want I want to share something vulnerable of myself so that you guys can feel comfortable sharing something vulnerable about yourselves and you know, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday about how she felt the same way I did, and I've had so many of these conversations, you know, since I even got out here to California, even before then, of people who just, like, we all feel, we all feel this way, and the thing that's killing us the most and stopping us the most from having the things we want is not being real and not being true to our fears and not and just being scared to share those fears with people because we think we're going to scare somebody away. You know, isn't the um isn't the mindset that oh well, but if I'm negative, then no one will be want to be around me. It's kind of crazy because I tell myself that all the time too, but when I actually am vulnerable, not like super negative, but just sharing that I'm, you know, if somebody asks me how I am, I challenge myself if I'm not feeling that well to say, you know, I'm not having the greatest day. It's going to get better, but just today is just hasn't been flowing for me. Instead of what I think somebody's going to say, which is, oh my God, like I'm getting away from this chick. She's way too negative. Usually that person can relate. And they'll be like, oh, I know what you mean. Like, today was kind of rough for me, too. And you can connect on something like that. That's what brings you closer with somebody instead of further away. Think of a conversation like that in comparison to a conversation where you're talking to somebody and just putting on a front. Like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm really good. What's going on in your life? Oh, well, this is going really well, and that's going really well. Meanwhile, in the back of your head, you're like man, I'm just having the crappiest day. Like, I don't want to talk about this stuff. And then they're talking about all the stuff that's going great in their life. And you just have this, like, great battle. And neither of you really connect. It's just like, you might even leave a conversation like that feeling crappy about yourself. Feeling like, oh, well, they're doing a lot. Why am I not doing that much stuff, you know? Or you might feel crappy about yourself because it's very inauthentic to putting on a front the whole time. But... The point of the story is to just be vulnerable and that's what I want to create. I've been for the longest time figure, trying to figure out where to take the community that we have here, the fit and fearless that's building and also, you know, my personal community for my health coaching. Um, you know, health and fitness is huge, but the past year of my life, two years, man, I've seen that Health and fitness is great, but if you're not taking care of your mind and your soul, then you got nothing. And I'm going to tell this really quick, but since I got out here, we always think that if we move to this beautiful place, everything's going to be better. Or if we have this car, everything's going to be better. Or if we have a bigger house, everything will be better. If I have these clothes, everyone will like me more. Well... I'm here to tell you that I moved out to California in one of the most beautiful places ever. Where I'm sitting right now, it's right across from my apartment. I have these insanely gorgeous mountains to hike. I have a meditation garden next door. The beach is in walking distance. Like, it is so beautiful out here, I can't even explain it. But I still have days like I had back at home. Days where I doubt myself. Days where I'm scared days where I don't know what I'm doing with my life and that might that might be sort of a surprise because I've had many people tell me that they wished I shared more of the negative 
things on Facebook and social media than the positive. Um, and I want you to know that I'm not being fake by only sharing the good stuff. My mindset, and I'm going to be totally open and vulnerable with you here, my mindset is that when I am really feeling great and feeling the vibrations are really high, then I want to be showing that to you guys. And I want to be, like, my, my life's mission is to empower and motivate and inspire people. Like, that just feels natural to me. It feels really good. And just bringing people to, together and connecting is really, really awesome. So when I feel those vibes, I just want to put it out there. And I do. And I share it. But I know that there are times when I don't feel so great also and I don't share those. So this is my first movement forward in sharing about things that aren't so squeaky clean and shiny and bright and beautiful. Just being real and authentic and vulnerable. Uh, the reason I didn't share those things was because I thought if I did share those things, nobody would like what I was saying and everyone would you know, become a hater, and um, one of the things that I want most in this world is to, big it, is to build a huge community, and um, that seemed like it would be the opposite for me, but I see so much more clearly now that if I'm sharing my vulnerability with you, like, that's how we're going to connect the best, because that's what happens in real life. When I can be vulnerable with people just day-to-day -day contact, like, those are close, serious bonds that I have with people. And I want to have that kind of bond with you, too. And really, yeah, I want to build a community of all of us and make a place where it's okay to be scared and it's okay to feel like you don't know what you're doing with your life and feel like you're not making any progress and a place where we can talk about, like, healthy recipes and working out and all the good stuff in life too but like we gotta get everybody's mind and our souls in the right place first before we can you know focus I mean focus on your body too you know focus on keeping yourself healthy for sure but let's like let's start this where we're taking care of ourselves so we can just be free and be happy and just flow through the day because when you feel like that like you know what I'm talking about when you feel good like that you want to work out you want to eat healthy food like there's a reason why we binge eat you know it's because we don't feel good about ourselves we're trying to fill a void and I'm just as guilty as the next person for binging and eating out of unhappiness and forcing myself to be in a bad place but it's really because I'm forcing myself to be somebody that I'm not and this is a big, big leap step forward. And I've been learning a lot of really helpful tools to make the times when we aren't sure of what we're doing with our lives or we don't know our purpose or we are scared of not having enough money or not being taken care of or fear that life's just not taking care of us. I have a lot of really good tools that I've built up that when that happens, you can come back from it really fast. And it'll still get, get you from time to time, but there's a lot that we can do about it. A lot. And this video is getting really long, so I'm going to cut it there. I think I opened up enough vulnerability today to really get it all rolling, um, but there's more to come. <clears throat> I feel really great just sharing this with you guys already. So please feel free to share your vulnerability with me too. You know, if you want to write me a message, um, send me a video, whatever you want to do to open up, do it. And in the future, we're going to be getting groups of us together. If you're out here in California, let's get together. It's going to be awesome, and I'm pumped for it. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and thank you for bearing with me as I bear my soul, and I will talk to you very soon. I love each and every one of you. Thank you.
for being vulnerable with me. Bye.